my channel. So today I have some more products from Arteza for you that I've been sent by them um, and which I can use in my art um, books as in the colouring books and things um, as well as anything else you know I feel like I may use them for. So um, these are the other two things that they sent me along with the pencils. I got sent the, the 58, no the 48 um, twi markers, twi markers, not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce it but I got sent these and I also got sent the 36 set of met metallic acrylic colours as well. So um, I'll just show you the twine markers first. Um, so they do come in a bigger set um, but I think this is the biggest set that you can get on the um, UK website. If you go on the US one you can get an, a hundred sets so obviously they'll have a lot more colours so um, on the back here you've got a list of all the colours that you get and they have some really nice names I think um, and basically these say unique colours, water based ink, so it's water based ink, blendable compact, ideal for watercolour techniques and journaling um, um, there's nothing about light fastness on here so I'm not really sure about that sort of thing if that's something that you know you you kind of need and actually over here it has got uses doodling calligraphy hand lettering planners journaling watercolor techniques and note taking so um these definitely you could use for all of those things <laughs> so if you're someone that does a lot of the um bullet journals or art journals then i would actually really recommend these because i think these would be perfect for that um in regards to like coloring books and things i think i'd probably use them a bit like the, the creative super tips because they're kind of similar to those um but the uh, it's nice that they've got a different end that you can use so i'd probably use them to like um in a coloring book like as a base color a bit like how you'd use the alcohol markers as a base there for something and then go over the top with pencil and this is how i'm probably going to use these because um, they do have some nice colours so they do come in these little four trays if I can so they come in these oh sorry I really hope that didn't like you know some people might not like the sound of the scratchy against the mats so sorry um, so we got four trays so they do come in like yellow in the colour like rainbow sort of thing so yellow to pink orange there got some red a few sort of brownie colours, purples, then we've got greens, blues, and then randomly, I don't understand why there's some blues and purples and a few greens here when really they should be in with the other ones, but hey, I'm sure there's a reason. Maybe they felt like they just didn't quite fit with the colour rainbow, so, you know, it doesn't really bother me that much. But, um, yeah, so we've got a nice range of colours, and if I just pick one out... So you can see that they have quite a lot of ink in the barrel. So this is all the ink that you get. Um, and you'll see it's like a clear pen. Um, it's non-toxic, very good. So, you know, if you've got kids, the kids can use these. Um, so it has the colour number here uh, and the number. So this is orange A113. Um, so this is the, um, like, again, I don't know really what you would... A really fine nib, there we go. It's got a fine nib tip. Um, these are very good for like if you want to do writing but I thought in colouring books um, I have some of those colouring books where you have to trace the outline if you want to where you know you do your own outline and actually these would be really good for that also I would say you could use these like fine liners um, I, you can't do a lot of shading in them think of it as a bit finer than a ballpoint pen tip you can't do lots and lots of shading these are more designed for drawing lines and writing I wouldn't say for colouring because you'd find it quite hard and the nib's quite like it's quite um a tough nib so I found that when I was swatching them out other than just doing a line like you couldn't really like scribble colour with them so I wouldn't colour them with them for that but for outlining them and writing but this side is perfect for colouring <laughs> it's got like a brush tip um and obviously if you do do calligraphy that'd be good for calligraphy it's obviously good if you want to get into quite fine areas because it's got quite a small tip at the top um but yeah I really like these I think these are really nice and I will use them in my colouring books as like a base layer and also if I'm I want to actually create a um in one of my notebooks because I have several notebooks because I love notebooks I've got um one that I want to put I want to plan my Florida holiday next year um, in. I want to put in, like, you know, all the restaurants I want to go to, all the rides I want to do, you know, that sort of thing. I thought that I would um, 
use these to jazz it up a little bit. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. So they do come in obviously this little case and or package, plastic packaging. So for the moment, I'm going to just keep them in there, but I may put them somewhere else. <laughs> Um, I will just show you the swatch book so you can see what they look like. Oh, come on. I'm just going to pop them back in for a minute. Um, unfortunately, I won't demonstrate how to use them as such just because uh, I don't, I won't use them in like all of my colouring books. So for the, I just think basically what I've done in the swatch book will show you more or less what you can do. Also, what you could do, as they say they're water, you could use them for watercolour techniques. What you would do is you just scribble up some of the colour down on a water, you know, just scribble some of the colour out on a palette and then pick it up with a water brush pen and then just use it like a water um, colour thing which is also what you can use this, the creator super tips for so you can do the same with this which I also may do in my colouring books as well um, so this is what they look like in my swatch book um, or have I gone no that's the colour pencils here we go twee markers or oh, twi markers um, so we have quite a nice range of colours uh, you do have some neon colours now for me I didn't feel like I needed the neon colours in the 48 set. I would have preferred if I'd had ordinary colours. But that's only because I don't... Other than, you know, I guess I could use them as highlighters. And I, I could, but I'd rather just buy a highlighter, personally. Um, but, you know, I know some people might want to, If they're journaling, perhaps the neon colours, they would use them. But for me, I just sort of felt like I wouldn't really use the neon colours. Um, so... I mean, the, the pink isn't too bad, to be fair, but it is probably a pink that I wouldn't really use very often, and I don't, I think that might just, be, I think it might just be, oh no, neon green, see the neon green, again, isn't too bad, but it is just a little bit too bright a green, so I may use it for colouring, I may not, but it's not as bad as what it could be, um, but yeah, they've got a nice sort of range of like a, some yellows, oranges, some pinks, a few reds, um, I really like the lavender and Egypt blue colours, they're really nice. Um, got some more blues and greens. I mean, there's not like a really, really dark, dark green. I mean, you got olive green and jungle green, so they're kind of like leafy greens, but I would have liked like a dark one. But obviously, if you got the bigger set, you would have probably lots more colours, including the darker shades. So um, I think, you know, just for art journaling and things, I think the 48 set is going to be fine. But if you like want specific colours for your colouring, books or whatever it is else that you use it then you might find the 100 set would be better but if you're outside the US you would have to buy them from the US website and until they make them available on the UK one I'm sure they will one day but as for now um, they're currently only available on the US one but the 48 set are available on both so that is that for you and also you can see how thin the line is as well um, I did the this is the brush tip one and this is the fine nib one so you can see it's a very fine line and it's very um, narrow I mean a couple of them I had sort of gone over it like as if I was going to try and like you know shade it in a little bit but then I realized like oh this doesn't work very well it just works best as just a line so um, as I said very good for outlining or writing definitely um, I would use them for that um, I'm next going to show you the 36 set of metallic acrylic colours. Let me put these over there. Now, I love my metallic paint. I love to use it in my colouring books, um, mostly for backgrounds, but sometimes I um, I prefer like, the acrylic paint to use it as background for, for backgrounds, and I prefer to use my watercolour metallic paints for like the little details, but I can, of course, use these for both, and, and I'm getting quite a collection now of metallic paints like I've got metallic and pearl pearlescent gouache watercolors now more acrylic paint because I've got these I do have these big tubes of uh, metallic paint but um, they only have a few colors it's not like lots and lots of colors but these I really, really like and they come in a lot of nice colors now on the box we have got all the colors that they come in um, it does tell you about the light fastness and then the different transparency unfortunately there's not very many that are full transparency most of them are half there's not um no there's not any that are this very like non-transparent or, or very transparent even but you most of them are this and you can see on the box it does show you so you've got pearl space gray which isn't which is a full uh, uh, which is very opaque and then you've got a lot of them like the silver which is half so most of them are half unfortunately but 
that's okay because you can always sort that out. So they do come in these little black trays. I decided actually to keep, because there's only 36 of them, I would actually keep them in this like little tray because the other paints I had, I think I had 60 set, you know, 60 of them and they all came in these and I just found I didn't want to go trawling through <laughs> Um, all the sets to get them but I thought as this was smaller and they're bigger paints actually it's fine I'll keep them in this but it might be in the um, like in the future I might take them out of these but um so they do come like you know in the sort of colour shades that they would normally come in so, and they're quite a big tube they're bigger than like the watercolour and the gouache tubes that you get um so this is 22 millilitres or if you use fluid ounces it's uh, 0.74 um yeah fluid ounces it says there but i think it's just the us that uses fluid ounces i'm sure there are a few other countries but milliliters <laughs> bit easier to um for me anyway <laughs> just because <laughs> i use the, the is it the metric system yeah mostly we do still use some imperial in the uk as well although i want them to change it all to metric personally um but yes so they are 22 milliliters or 0.74 fluid ounces so quite a nice big size um so you've got plenty there especially for you using for backgrounds because you'll need quite a lot um so they have a nice range of colors and i will so basically this is like some more of the sets there um actually if i take them all out and then you can kind of just see like what they look like so we've got some silvery colors there's kind of like a white color here and then some sort of yellow and oranges there and then at the bottom of this pit here we've got some i like that there's one called papaya orange some orangey pinks and um, so you've got some quite light pinks and sort of mid pinks there so i'll just put those back in because i want them back in their specific order <laughs> and then on this side i showed you the sort of purpley colors that all sort of ready purpley colors you had here we've got some bluey green and then right at the bottom it's just some more green colors so you get quite a lot of green colors i'm going to say so i'll show you the swatches of what they look like now because again unfortunately it is it, just paint um and for me i'm just going to use them as background so i will obviously do use them in a coloring book and then i will tell you that i use these in the coloring book or we might use them on a, a stream or something but um, or you know um, a colouring a long video but I just thought for like it's just, you just see me painting <laughs> and I just thought you're not going to get any more benefit than if you saw the swatches really so that's why I'm, I'm not because I was thinking of doing of uh, painting a bit of a background but I just thought you know what it'd just be easy to do this way so here are all the beautiful colours um and they just they don't they look amazing so i'm just going to show you this side first so here we have all the sort of earthy bronzy goldy colors and then we got some silver there's even a the pearl space gray kind of looks quite black to me i would say it's more of a black than a gray or a very very dark gray um and then here's the sort of like um yellowy orangey colors the sort of ready colors the pinks um again again sort of like a the strawberry red kind of looks more like a sort of coppery red doesn't it and then we've got a few purples not like a lot of true purples just two and then a couple of blues and then a couple of various greens and actually you get quite a lot of different greens i think in this set um so i really like them now as i said quite a lot of them are half transparent so you can kind of see that you can kind of see the paper through some of these so what i would do is if you're going to use these for a background and or whatever you're using them for and you think oh it's they're a bit too transparent i would do a first layer and then i go back and do another layer um so hopefully two layers of that will make it more more opaque it might be you might have to have a few you know you might have to have three layers it depends on the paint um but like some of the ones like this pearl deep brown and the pearl gray silver or gray even they are opaque and you can see that you can't even see any transparent bits through those ones so um some of them are, are going to be really great and you'll be able to just do one layer with them and you won't have to do two but that is my advice i would probably just do two layers if um you find that they're a little bit too opaque for you not opaque transparent <laughs> um so that is basically everything that i have been sent from arteza recently that um i um I'm going to, I'm sharing with you so I will be using these obviously in my colorings and when I do I will definitely tell you um 
how I feel that they worked. I mean, the twi the twi markers, I kind of feel like, you know, they are basically going to be a bit like the Creative Super Tips, but just have different colours and things like that. But I really do like that they have got the two different ends because I think that's great for me because, you know, some of those colouring books in which I can, you know do the outlines, I can do the outlines with them, so I think that's really cool. And obviously the metallic paints, because I do love my metallic paints, I will definitely be using these. So um, as and when I do, I will definitely show you that I've used them, and if I feel like there's any more information that I can tell you about how um, I feel that they work, I will definitely share with you and let you know. Oh, and just one quick thing, as I realised, on the front here, it does tell you the size of the fine tip, um, and it is 0.4 millimetres, so that is quite... A small tip actually um, and then obviously the brush tip there so I hope you enjoyed this um, there will be for a short time um, a coupon code where you can get 10% off um, on the links below to buy them so you can enter that coupon code in and then you can get 10% off um, it doesn't have to just be off these items it can be off any Arteza items I think that you are buying or if you're buying more than say you're buying this and then you want to buy these and then you want to buy I don't know the watercolor pencils or something um you should get the 10% off the whole order is how it works I believe so there is only um it's only up until a certain date that you can use it though um so I will put that all below in the information below for you so that you know okay so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to be able to share with you in the future some more products from Arteza because I am loving their products so far they're they're really good for, for the, the value of them. Um, I feel that they're, they are pretty good. So I hope that you enjoy using them too if you buy them or if you have them already. So I will see you next time. Bye!